some of the people here um, were accused of providing money or steering money to groups that, that apparently were not legitimate. Can, can we hear from them about how they feel about some of these reforms? I believe Maria Baez, Lyra Seabrook, and, and, and others have been identified in news stories leading up to, to this announcement. You know, I just want to say, we've, we've had a list of speakers. We've heard from a lot of council members. There's probably a forum right now. You know, we're probably in violation of the open meeting floor right now. You know, that said, I want to be clear. There have been stories in the papers about council members and organizations. There being a story in the paper does not mean a member was accused of anything. The word accused has a particular connotation to it, and I, I don't want to let that connotation stand. Uh, there are no members here who've been accused of anything. Uh, you know, uh, and I want to be very, very clear on that. You know, part of what uh, has become clear is that often agencies raise questions later. That's why we want pre-clearance. So if there's questions, they can be addressed in the beginning and groups that are able to do the work get into the budget. <coughs> but what this process we've gone through in the past two weeks has focused on is how do we come up with the most broad-based reforms, the best practices, covering the largest amount of money the council has discretion over to make sure monies go to organizations that can do the best work. That's what all of these members want, whether their names have been in the paper or not. None of them have been accused of ever anything, but what they should be applauded for is having committed a tremendous amount of time over the past two weeks to develop best practices that far outpace our state legislature or, in my opinion, any other legislative body in the country. 